All right, here's two questions. Uh, first, we're going to uh, multiply and then simplify, and then we'll do divide. Okay, when you're faced with a rational expression like this, where you have a different expression on numerator, like that, uh, your key thing is to factor. So I'm going to take this first one, and if it helps you just to go off to the side and factor this. So, whoops, that's plus 3. Um, and look for two numbers that multiply to 3, add to 4. It's got to be 3 and 1, eh? So 3 and 1, and everything's positive. And then you can just replace that in the fraction. So x plus 1, x plus 3. Do the same thing with the other ones. This bottom one looks a little funny. 3x cubed minus 5x squared. I think I can take out an x squared. That'll leave me with 3x minus 5, I believe. Okay, so x squared, 3x minus 5 times, okay, 9, 9x cubed minus 25x. First thing I can do is factor out an x. So it's 9x squared minus 25. And then this looks like a difference of squares. So I could factor it to 3x and 3x, 5 and 5, 1's minus, 1's plus. Okay, so that's that one. Let me put that up here. x times 3x minus 5 times 3x plus 5. Bottom one, I think I can just take a common factor of 3 out. So I'll take a 3 out. x plus 1. So now that I've factored everything, now what I want to do is look for uh, common factors of 1 that I can take out. And what I mean is, is there the same thing on the top and the bottom? Then I can cancel them. Okay, so uh, 3x minus 5 right there, gone. Uh, x plus 1, gone. Uh, here's an x and here's an x squared. So this x will cancel out one of those. And I think I'm done. I can't cancel this 3 into this 3 because this thing is actually x plus 3. It has to be exactly that. So then I just write what I'm left on the top, x plus 3, and a 3x plus 5. And then write what's on the bottom. There's an x there and a 3. So I guess we just call that a 3x. So that would be my answer for that one. Let's try a similar one, but it's dividing. Okay, so here I'm dividing. First order of business is to change the divide to times and multiply. Oh, change the divide to times and then find the reciprocal of the second one. So y plus 4. So this divide changes to a times and then I flip over the second fraction. And I'll do the same thing. So uh, let's see, 2y squared minus 8. I can factor 2 out. Oh, and then this is a difference of squares. Nice. Minus 2y plus 2. Okay, so that's what goes on the top here. 2y minus 2y plus 2. On the bottom, you can't factor that. You're stuck there. Times... This is a difference of squares. So it's y, y. 16 is 4 times 4. 1's minus 1's plus. Over this one here. I guess I could have done... I forgot to do it up here. You don't have to do it up here. I just sort of could do it in my head, so I threw it down. But the next one was 8y minus 16. I think I can take a common factor of, of 8 out. I'd be left with y minus 2. So this would be 8 and a y minus 2. Now let's look for factors of 1 that I can take out. Anything the same on top and bottom goes. y plus 4, y plus 4. y minus 2, y minus 2. Oh, and the 2 and the 8, 2 will go into itself once, and 2 will go into 8 four times. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. So on the top, I'm left with y plus 2 and a y minus 4. On the bottom, I'm just with, left with a plain 4. 
Again, notice this can't go into this because this whole thing is sort of connected. All right, two good questions. Um, hopefully that helps.